7.30, journey starts here, boys. Don't wanna be up. Just arrived at the shop about 10 minutes ago. I had to take this alternator off because Roberto called me last night and said that the car is pretty much 100% done. Other than, other than the alternator is really not charging anything, it's just not working. So I'm gonna bring this just in case. So, we're on the road. We get peanut butter and jelly from Zombies. How you doing, man? 42 plus 15. Doing good, how are you? You waiting for 18 hours of this? It's not like I haven't done it before. To be honest, this is not bad. It's it, on this couch. It could be so it could be the cappuccino again. <laughs> oh, I would have killed myself. <laughs> <laughs> this peanut butter jelly is good, but it's probably gonna make me sick. Fuck it. Alright guys, so it's currently Wake up! 10 to ooh. It's currently 10.30 in the morning. Um we left yesterday at 9 o'clock, so we've been driving over 24 hours. Don't ask me how. We got stuck in a lot of traffic. Uh, Tommy drove the first couple hours. And face chance, he drove a million miles. And then I drove from 9 to 2, like 5 hours. And then face tats. Somehow I convinced everyone to drive straight instead of getting a hotel, and it worked. And I got to sleep from probably 3 to now but for some reason I'm so exhausted like my eyes are so heavy it's it's insane but I didn't film this whole road trip because I really just want to we're at the shop right now no one's here yet but I just want to show the road sir I want to show you guys everything they did and I don't want to waste any time so I'll start filming when they're here hey doing friend I'm so tired why cuz I drove for fucking he drove pretty much all, I mean... <laughs> I, th I think I drove... I drove at least 13 hours. Dude, I drove five, so what did you drive? Two or three. <laughs> How much you drive, guy? Two, I had a couple... Six... Sixteen hours under my belt. I for the drive. hate him. How much... <laughs> I did three and a half. Ooh, I beat him. Well, that's not where it's gonna count. It's gonna count on the track. So bring Ooh. your fucking A game. I can't drive the track anymore. Okay, so... I'm a little more awake now. Um, we got out of the van a few hours ago. We got Marcus parked in the front seat. We're going to T Flats because I mean that's really the first place I need to go. We just I went to go take a shower real quick. Um, Tommy and all of them they went to Havoc Speed Shop. Uh, Tommy's getting some parts for his car. Roberto is getting the power steering line for my car made right now. And after that, we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna show everything they did. And I mean, dude, it looks so much better, man. I can't honestly thank you enough. If you guys didn't see all those um, build videos, it's gonna be on Marcus Parks channel. Type in Marcus Parks on YouTube and you can see it. We're gonna go over the whole car right after T Flats and Roberto gets back and Okay, so we're back at the shop now. Um, like I said, Roberto is getting that power steering line. So me and Marcus, we are gonna vacuum this out, clean everything up. You gotta tuck some vacuum lines and yeah, build right up here. that map sensor. Uh, so we got the map sensor right here. Uh -huh. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find a nice 10 mil bolt somewhere on the side right here. I wanna tuck this, cause uh, I don't, Roberto's idea for it was to zip tie it right here in with all these fuel lines, but I feel like we did such a good job at doing all this stuff. I really want to show it off. Mm -hmm. um, so I didn't want to like mess anything up over there. So we're going to like tuck it down on the side over here. So that it's still easy for you to get to. Because Roberto said that they do go bad every now and then. So I want to still make it easy for you. And um, we got to tie up these vacuum lines, get the power steering on, and then just go over it one more time. Oh yeah, put this ground on. I right, go over it one more time, check for more, if there's any leaks so that when Rudnick finally takes it, um, there's no problem with good it. To go. Yeah. So he's gonna do that and I'm gonna vacuum. Let's hit it. All right guys, so I just vacuumed this out. Marcus is still doing those things and the real Scumberto himself just arrived. I can't call, you are Rob Speckberto. That's, that's your name now. Your name. So um, pretty much I we just got here and we're just gonna walk through what they did. You wanna walk us through? Sure, where do you wanna start? Anywhere you want. Look at the list. Okay. Oh, you have a list. Oh, no, it's gone. You're kidding me. Oh, what? How is the list gone? Marcus, like, what are you doing, man? One job. You know, you had like three jobs. One of them was to take care of the list. <laughs> you threw oh, the yeah. list away. Oh, good. oh okay. Oh, all right. <laughs> oh, you okay. guys remember this list? Okay. Rudnick's Roadster to do list. All right. Get engine started. Got we got check. that. Fucking Checked check. On the first Fucking day when yeah. Fuck here. yeah. All right. Rob Spec Fuel System, Tome FPR dash six lines. Let's go take a look. Okay, let's do it. So before I wasn't too thrilled with your fuel lines. Uh huh. And uh, the way everything was mounted. So now we have everything uh, correct fitting for correct hose that goes. Yeah, it's fitting. an actual AN line, so not just a rubber hose. Yeah, so we're not gonna have any fuel blowouts halfway yep. through the track. Uh, 
Solid mounted that there. Flex fuel sensor. Got a nice bracket on there. Nice bracket. Everything is. Need some Marcus parts. Now this is the important part because who cares? Sometimes like if it looks good, whatever. But solid isn't rubbing through in any point. It's not that. touching anything. Well, any point that is touching uh -huh. has been insulated with rubber. Yeah. Which is good. Which you have to do. Yeah. This is this is the little safety things that make sure the car's running a year from now, not just you know tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, Rob Speck oil. Wait, so we can check off another fist oh, pump? All right, what's that? It's actually, this is a money pen. I don't know how to this is literally it. to make sure, counterfeit detector pen. Thanks, Marcus. Hey, this is real paper, that's good. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Rob Speck oil filter location and cooler. Ooh, I, we might have to go up for that. We might have to go up for that But one. this is the oil location. relocation right here. Yeah. Looks fancy. I'm stoked that you had a purple because my whole um, engine bay, I wanted black, white, and purple. There you and go. And that's it, that's and all we have in yeah, and then same thing. So it's all dash ten lines, dash uh, dash ten fittings. Everything that can re be rubbing is insulated, as you can see there. Marcus did a really good yeah, job making sure that everything right needs to be. And there is not one thing on this car you can grab that you can shake. Everything is completely, which is awesome, solid and tight. Nothing's gonna rub through over time. Yeah, I'll be honest. If I did that, everything would be loosey goosey. Be I wouldn't -goosey. have any rubber sleeves or anything like that. Oh. You know, you brought her home. Brought her home. That was it. So let's go up on the lift and we'll check out the oil cooler. So we just raised it up. Here is the oil cooler. Go ahead, Roberto. Where are you going with the with your list? Can I get dude? a light, or do you need it? Oh, it How's your camera? No, it's good. We can see it. Ah, uh, that light's good. Light like helps, light. right? Yep. All right. So we. So the issue with the oil cooler was your intercooler is way too close to your radiator. Okay. Typically, I'd want to sandwich this in between the intercooler and the radiator. Yep. Um, if we were to put this in front of your intercooler, guess what? Your intercooler's not doing anything. Instead exactly. of it, so No cool air there. Right. And then mounting it over here wasn't going to work because we had all the intercooler piping. There was just no real solution of mounting it in the bumper. So we decided to go with a V-mount. I do like it, too. I it, think it looks sick. Yeah. It'll, it'll be just sufficient. It'll work just the same. Um, and it looks cool. Yeah. And it's not the lowest part of the car. It's not I mean, even all. though this car is not low, this isn't going to be the first thing that hits if I right. break it. Right. And I understand away. where people are coming from where they said, oh, this is kind of sketchy. You're, you're not looking at it here. If you if you put this car on the ground and you went underneath it, it would not be the lowest part of the car. No. It's not, you know. Um, and we're still gonna, we haven't, we're not finished yet. We're gonna make a couple little shields here to kind of like a little skid fit, hold it up. So um, a big thing I wanted to talk about was the power steering because I was, oh, I did soft, not think dude. I was gonna get the power steering. That deserves two fist bumps, a double. Ooh, a shift and knob. A Wait, head. a shift knob to a bump. A shift knob? To a bump. To a bump. Awesome. Yeah. Cause that, you killed it on that. Explain that how rough. you even did that. That man. was rough. So we ended up, Modifying your alternator big time. Okay. The bracket and everything. Which is also a brand new alternator. And so I did bring an SR alternator, but they ended up using a KA one. So Which is bad. So yeah. Never. I mean, now I just have an extra one, so it's not right. a big deal. So what I ended up doing was I went to our favorite place, Make a Hose, and they were able to fab me up a set of banjo bolts to dash six. To so a this is your high pressure line. Yeah. And this is your return line. And right. If you follow the lines, they go right to the, the pump, pump right there. Yeah. And Which looks great. And that's it. And we already tested it and it works. Um, and we actually, um, R Roberto said that it wasn't going to work the way he had it before, which he had oh, just let's, AM let's, lines. Let's explain that. Yeah, I mocked it up. I mocked up the high pressure line with just basic AM just lines, see if it works. which are rated for like 600 PSI. A power steering system with full lock, eh, you know, 12, 1300 PSI. <laughs> <laughs> so. You know, Mr. Wumbo here decided to go for a full lock uh, turnaround. Drifted my car already? Full no, lock, I dude. I backed it out to take a picture <laughs> last night, <laughs> and uh, hose, yeah. and I immediately went to full lock, and it just blew right out. Well, it doesn't matter now because we just got the high pressure. Hydraulic, exactly. Line. Yeah, so this is good. Look at this. He's interfering with oh, the vlog man. over oh, here. God. Everybody start talking to themselves. That's okay, because Jesus loves me. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Problem is, is like his vlog will be up today. Mine doesn't go up for till tomorrow. So ah, so I got you beat. Exactly. Aha. So you have nothing to lose. Are you are you, are you gonna lose? Not gonna lose. I'm not gonna lose to anything. You okay? Hold on. Come here. You see this sticker? You're gonna be watching the sticker as I bury. In no funnier. way. You not don't think possible. so? You're done. You're done for. We'll fucking How see about that. Why we're over here, Alex? I explained this in an earlier here. video. I bought this hardtop from him. Marcus got this painted, and this is all good to go on my car. Everything Whoa. is good there, and the drive shaft is in. What what was that place called? Drive Works. Uh, yeah, Drive Works. They killed it. They painted it. Everything works there. All the fluids. Look at you. This dude's drunk right now. I'm not drunk. We're having a drinking contest later. Don't say that on camera because I'm down. I'm not doing it. Yeah, that's what I thought. 
but all the fluids are in, everything is good, and this thing is ready to be ripped. Do you want to explain anything else? Um, I think Bert needs to go through the, his list a little bit more, but... Yeah, he kind of got sidetracked, so we'll yeah. wait for him. Yeah. Boom! All right, so you're back with the list. I back explained the dry list, shaft, list, I explained list. all the fluids. Yeah, so we got our oil filter location and oil cooler all set up. We're going to give that a big old check. There was four horrible Oh, check. here you go. Oh. Fist bump? Oh. Oh, oh, okay. That's awkward. All right. Well, you know what? Let's go to... Uh, loose ends, right? Okay, yeah, loose some... ends. What was the loose ends on this car? Was there a lot? It was a couple. Quite a there few. Was... A couple. It was an unfinished project for sure. Um, so one of the first kind of red flags was all your brake lines and fuel lines are just kind of flopping around there, okay. rubbing on stuff and this and that. So Marcus and I went through and insulated everything with rubber. Okay. All the bolts have rubber, all the lines have rubber, all the way through, really? especially in here. Right. Nothing can move, you know? If, yeah. it can't, if it can't move, it can't rub through. No, for know? sure. So, just a little safety thing. Um, I didn't have bolts here. Marcus and Roberto, they put bolts in the training mount. That was one of the harder parts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because... Um, <laughs> was it actually? It was not the... It, it took a while. It was a... It was a so, I had to grind yeah. and oblong the hole so that the nut would actually fit. So, good thing is your nuts, you don't... <laughs> good thing is the nuts... My nuts? Good thing is the nut that's on the top <laughs> just... What? The difference between a list and a lift. <laughs> Good thing is, is that the nut on the top actually wedges itself against the actual mount, and you just don't have to tighten, uh, like hold that with yeah. a wrench, because you but, wouldn't be able to get a wrench oh, in there really. Cool. Okay, okay. Roberto, man, what's next on your good old lift. Rob spec? Lift. Let me get lift. my lift here. I'm gonna put a little, uh, little, little, little check mark. A little check mark on. No, uh, nothing actually, because we just uh, did <laughs> well, not. The loose ends. The loose ends. Yeah. Was, well, that was more to it. So we'll just put a little triangle and happy face. Right. We'll go, from, weird. We'll okay. go from there. Marcus, right. whenever you're done, I guess we'll just put it back down. All right, going down. down. Look at this, dude. You're going to die today, man. <laughs> you're too drunk to be here. I'm tired. I'm just going to fuck <laughs> with you all day. all day. All day? All day. You're getting dropped. Oh, what? Give a thumbs up on this video. If it hits 4,000 likes, I'm dropping face tats, and no one will even know. So hit that thumbs up button, 4,000 likes. I'm going to tackle you. I'm You're gonna tackle gonna the fuck, fuck out of you. I'm gonna tackle you into that pond. Don't say that. And there's a gator in Don't there too. Don't threaten me with a good time. There's not a gator in there anymore. God damn it, Marcus! Ah! ah well, we're, we're back, guys. And, well, yeah, we're back. And, we're back and, on the ground, and, and uh, we're, here we are with the lift. The lift. All right. So next on the lift, <laughs> Rob Spec catch can. Right there. Look, check it. This bad damn. girl out. Lines go from there to here, there to there. Boom. Yeah, dash ten looks pretty. Does looks the job. Good. Very functional. And um, you get the uh, car show points. Yeah. Can't beat that. So wire up loose ends, which flex fuel. At first yeah, the flex fuel wasn't that. running, that ended up being really simple. The boost cylinder was not where it needed to be. We'll just say and that. that's right here. Now it's set up. There you go. One thing that I'm not so sure about that you need to keep your eyes open for okay. is the placement of the wastegate didn't offer me a good solution to run the line to it. Okay. So it's very close to the manifold. You can see there I put a fire sleeve on it. All right. So in, in, in a perfect world, that's never going to have a problem. Yeah. In a not perfect world, the computer is going to tell you you're making too much boost. Open the hood, take a look at it. If it ever is a problem. That's why we set safeties. Yep. Which will be next video. Right. Um, so we also just clean up the wiring. I mean, you had the, your harness was just all over the place. Yeah. Like, everything's tucked away. And you, this is, again, the most important part when you do this stuff. You want to go to a wire, everything doesn't is solid, move. doesn't yeah. move. Everything's good. If it moves, it rubs, it breaks. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it for that. Ooh, we have to show Carlos's work. We have to. Oh, that Carlos did such awesome. a good job. And he knocked it out in like 45 minutes. It's oh, ridiculous. Yeah. It looks so fucking good. I, I wish I hadn't put the center of the steering column piece on because then you could actually really see it, but. Yeah, the funny thing is I have to take it out again. That's oh, man, it looks oh, really? so good. The AM digital dash with the carbon fiber. It's going to say it's in limp mode because it's not on, but. No, it's not. I already have it all set up. Check that girl out. Damn, dude, it's so cool. And like, it, if you hit this button, it has a bunch of different settings. We got that. Ooh, are we in fifth? No. This is what I'm most excited about. I don't know how to work that. Is that GPS based? I have no idea. Man. I'll look it up. I don't know. I don't know. But if we can figure out how to work this, this little race pack, this would be awesome. Because then I don't even need to buy one of those. It's literally right there right. in my cluster. Well, I know you can buy a GPS sensor for it and add it to it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I honestly have never played with these. I, I've always just worked the race packs themselves. So but Carlos, your Instagram's right here, man. Thank you so much. This looks awesome. And this car is just coming along great. How's the list looking? 
The list? Oh, you mean the lift? The lift, yeah. Uh, let's move <laughs> on to uh, the coolant lines. Ooh, coolant lines. <laughs> oh, dude, you're polishing for me? Fucking butthurt about this stuff, man. I don't make sure this looks It looks so good, dude. Yeah. This, honestly, when you were sending me pictures of this, this is like one of my favorite things because it looks oh, so awesome. Like I was telling you earlier, when, like, when you first brought it, it, it looked like the engine was swapped in. Mm hmm. I don't now know why, it almost but the looks second like we factory. did that, it looks like it belongs. It looks like, yeah, it looks like it belongs in this Like, car. this looks like a kit you buy. Yeah, no, you seriously. Know? So, but yeah, it was super simple. Just some free hoses, some piping. Uh, big shout out to Treadstone Performance. Uh, they hooked it up and got everything here next day for us. And that's awesome. Yeah. So now what we can do is we can start this thing up. We're just going to pull it out, give it a couple revs. How's your lift going? Hmm. I think we've covered pretty much everything on the oh, list. Oh, wait, no, you, you got something made for this car. What did I get made? You know, Rob's back? Dude, the final touch. Got you. You're right. Look at this. Does that look about right to you? Yeah, I think it's good. Boom, right there. Dude, it honestly looks pretty sick. It does. <laughs> I, I kind of fuck with it. Thank you so much. You it, Thank you, Marcus. Both their Instagrams are right here right now. Go follow them. Go follow Marcus on YouTube. Follow Jack on YouTube too, even though I'm gonna bury all of his cars other than <laughs> Dusty. But still, Jack Cecil, type it in. You guys will see that in a later on video. Are you ready to get loose? We'll see about that. We gotta dyno this thing and talk money because I'm taking it all. I'm taking everything home. I hope you brought a thousand bucks. Let's get this thing out. All right guys, so it's running right now. This is the first time I'm gonna move it under its own power right now. Are you ready for this? We're gonna put it in reverse. If I can find it. I think that's reverse. Oh, it's grabby. It's very grabby. This is sick. It's moving under its own power right now. This is it, the first time. Hey, keep tight. We need air in the tires. Pull it back in. Pull it back in. Oh. We gotta go back in. All right, guys. Well, this is it. Power steering's um, failed. Tires are pumped up, everything is good. I think I'm gonna end the video here because I don't wanna blow my load all in one video. I am very excited. I will give you guys a little sneak peek right here. A little rev. I will see you guys tomorrow. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna subscribe for more, subscribe for more. Tomorrow, you guys will see it driving and dyno and just, just a bunch of shit, man. I'm so excited. Thank you again, man, so much. You have no idea, like my heart, dude. You have my heart. What the heck? As gay as that sounds. No, no, heart. it works. I like it. You want to rip it out of me? You can like stick it on you. I, I've got some favors to ask for. Okay. Oh, yeah. See you tomorrow.